Hello and welcome. So the Clankmore Miner 15.0 has been out for a while now. I just wanted to do a quick review of RX 5700 XT and RTX 2070 mining using this mining software. So let's go ahead and download the mining software. I have provided the links for this mining software in the description below so what we will need to do is scroll down on this website and click the download button to download the software once you click the software download button it will download a zip folder which is a zip7 kind of folder so if you do not have zip7 installed you will have some problem uh, in the latter steps once your folder is downloaded you will need to extract using zip7 so go ahead and click and then choose a location where you want to save your folder after you've selected that press ok and then press extract type in the password which is claymo in this case and press ok and there you go your folder has been extracted go ahead and double click the folder within the folder there is a lot of example batch files that is given depending on your pool that you use for mining you might be able to find one which suits you now if you do find one which is related to the pool that you are looking for all you need to do is go ahead and click that batch file uh, you will need to right click and modify it to match your wallet address and uh, some of the information that you will need to put in which will mine the coin for you so in my case I am mining using Nenopool and what I will do is I will modify it to match my needs in my case I have already done it so the next step is go ahead and start the mining software by running the batch file in terms of hash rate I'm getting around 49 mega hashes using my 5700 XD graphics card whereas the RTX 2070 card is getting around 39 to 40 mega hashes now this is using my best optimized settings I have put the 5700 XT at minus 50% power and it's at 89 to 90 watts it is a far more efficient card than the RTX 2070 which I am able to customize the core and the memory clock a little bit further and I'm running at 60% uh, power using that um, these are good numbers for the 5700 XT compared to RTX 2070 I think it is a far better card and looking at the numbers it performs really well as well the reason why I have put the 5700 XT at minus 50% power is because it's a reference card and if I leave it at stock power limit it, be it becomes really hot and somehow I'm not able to optimize it to get a stable reading when I try to play around with the core or the memory clock using either 
the MSF to beta o the uh, IMD radio on uh, power to global settings sorry this global what uh, it might be a problem with my car only I'm not too sure whether other cards are facing similar problems but still looking at the numbers it's, it looks really well for the radio card compared to the RTX 2070 I have had this RTX 2070 for a while now and this is a known super card so it's just a normal RTX 2070 I would be very interested to see how RTX 2070 super performs but I still don't think it will get numbers and as good as the 5700 XT and uh, looking forward to uh, some of the other mining softwares they might be coming out with other algorithms for other cryptocurrencies I have a pretty decent system which allows me to run two graphics card and as you can see over there I have got both the graphic cards installed in there and it was a fun experiment trying to run both of them side by side on the same system and see how they perform now just another disclaimer I have hooked up my monitor to the RTX 2070 card but I have also tried it with the 5700 XT even though I haven't recorded it and there isn't much difference in mining hash rate I would be really interested to hear what your thoughts are and whether you have used either of this graphics card and what your preference would be for mining with these graphics cards thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video